Okay, so we are playing the new game Prey. Sort of like a uh, alien isolation type game where you're basically trying to survive on a space station from aliens called Mimics and they got loose out of containment. Have you ever seen that movie Life? It's kind of like that, but just not as bad. So, got pretty far in this game already. Again, this is on my iPad. Gaming rig. Hopefully you can hear me alright with this headset. So this game came out, I think, a few months ago. I'll even show the uh, settings in game so you can see how high they are. I will say this is only a two gigabyte video card so um, again when I was saying about the RX 480 that would have eight gigabytes so regardless that's gonna be more than enough RAM for you to run almost any game out there uh, but a two gigabyte as though as this is a really good graphics card it's still only two gigabytes so the 16 gigabyte uh, system RAM Now I have this hooked up to an old Sylvania TV that kind of came out around 2010. Probably going to get killed a few times here, I think. But, uh, oh yeah, that's right, I was trapped in this room. <laughs> uh, let me get some health so we can at least... Uh, See an example without dying right away. Uh, suit integrity is pretty good for now. I have to distract this thing. I know he's right out there. Of course. Oh well, there's something over there too. Nope, not good. Come on. And I have this thing trying to kill me. That's great. Ooh, my death is real fun. Run, run, run. Oh my god. Yep. Alright. I have no ammo left. Oh wow. Spider thing did though. Yeah, this game's kind of freaky. We don't move around too much either. So. Pretty high frame rate. It's about 60. Alright, so I'm going to load another uh, save file so we can run around in a better uh, environment so you can see what's going on. Uh, and I will even take a video real quick. On, I'll post each one up. I think I got enough room on this. If not, I might have to uh, free some room on the phone. Loading times on this game are agonizing.
on Bandicam as well as myself. So we'll see both videos. This game works here. This way you can tell that it's actually being recorded on the computer and in real time. And on my cell phone, so you know it's the chip. Alright. I'll make a quick video on the cell phone there. Another thing I recommend, um, if you get this game or any other games, you can get a free program online called Jet Boost, and what it does is it will shut down any background processes on your computer uh, that could be taking up any RAM or anything like that. It could be minor, it could be a little heavy, whatever. Uh, but it will make it so that your computer is optimized to play games, and you can turn the processes back on with a click of a button. So it's just something that a lot of gamers use programs like that um, to make it so they can play their games a lot easier. But like I was saying, feel like I'm ready to get I was actually going to do this. Um, get an RX 480 uh, Radeon from, yeah, actually, it's actually going to be a Radeon card. It's not going to be like a MSI or anything like that. It'll actually come from the company um, AMD, and I think it's like 200 bucks or less. I know last I checked it a few months ago, it was like 180 uh, on Newegg.com. Oh, that's yeah. Let me get off the space station. You can see that this being a new game, the frame rate. You know, you know this computer is pretty uh, burly. You can only imagine though with a, a better video card and. Basically, any game you could throw at it for the next two or three years, it would easily take, no problem. I also do game design myself, so I, I need something that's powerful to be able to test what I make on it. You've been trapped in the simulation for three weeks. Normally, the tests are only a few days long. <laughs> this video should have probably only been a few minutes long, but well, as you can see, this is the new game Prey, and this is it running on my iBuyPower tower. All right.